Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit offended. First of all, in Jess's video, there is a comment that says, I bet Michelle's not gonna be as comfortable talking about this topic, and it got 46 people that liked it, and then AJ's like, oh, Michelle's gonna totally not talk about this topic at all. She's gonna talk about the GOP party or something and pretend like she didn't get the topic. You know what? You know what I have to say to that? It's the quiet ones you have to watch out for. Also, for the record, I was contemplating being a sex therapist at one time. So again, I, <laughs> I'm like so aggravated that no one thinks I could talk about this topic. And I'll, I'll give it to you. I'm a little, I, I feel like I've gotten a bad rap being the mama beef because, you know, moms don't talk about sex or whatever, but I could talk about sex. I could hang with the best of them. So without further ado, here is my video for this week. So this week we're answering a question from a uh, Beeve who has been in a relationship for two years and has only gone down on her significant other twice in those two years. So that probably averages out to be once a year. Maybe it's an anniversary, maybe it's a birthday, maybe it's a special day, but it's only happened twice. Um, and she cites that she's just not that confident, that there's a smell and taste issue. And to that I say, not everyone has to like it. I think there's this misconception that if you're a lesbian, you have to like going down on women. And frankly, I've met a handful of women that don't like it. Like, it doesn't make them any less gay. They just don't like it. And that's okay. You have to give yourself permission not to like something. So if you, if you genuinely don't like it, that's cool. And hopefully you find someone who ideally is into the same things you are because as all the other beeves before me mentioned, you want to be able to, you know, please your woman or please your man. Just please your partner because that's, that's fun. Who wouldn't want to do that? So I think on a kind of higher level, it's important to figure out whether or not that's something you're even into. And again, it's totally okay if you're not. But in this particular case, um, the individual's partner really enjoys it and wants more of it. And if that's the case and the person is, it's just a confidence issue, I would say talk about it a bit more. I think a lot of times people get scared to talk about sex, even in the relationship. And it's so, so, so crucial that there's an open communication, especially when it comes to sex. Like, that's an important topic. You want to be able to be comfortable enough to talk about it with whoever you're with. And if that's the case, you know, and if you're not confident enough, let her know. Be like, look, I feel like I'm lacking in this department, so feel free to be vocal. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Whether that be through explicit direction or whether that be through moans or whatever the case, you know, try to just be more talkative or more vocal. Vocal's good because it doesn't necessarily mean you're talking, but, you know, you could be a little a little louder or a little softer, I think that helps with the confidence because if you're if you're doing what you need to be doing and the other individual is being vocal, you know that you're doing something good and, and especially don't fake it. Don't fake it because that's not going to help anyone. That doesn't help anyone. Again, women do not fake it. That doesn't help the person doing the going down. It doesn't help the person that's on the receiving end. I advise not to, not to fake it. Just be vocal. Be vocal about it. Say, you know, move a little to the left, move a little to the right. Um, whatever works. And I think the last part of this question was a taste and smell issue, which in that case, there's there's a couple of things. I know, um, as Lori mentioned, avoid any of like the gels or things like that. Sometimes they're sugar based and that could cause way more issues <laughs> than when you started. But as the other other beeves mentioned, sometimes it's a dietary thing. I've heard, you know, women taste different depending on what they eat, you know, vegetarian, not vegetarian, raw food, not raw food, like 
sky's the limit. So, you know, play around with some stuff. Add some pineapple in your diet. I heard that does wonders. I don't know. I've never, like, forced my partner to eat pineapple, and I've done, like, a double-blind study, but you could try it out. Um, and then there's always the option of hooking up right out of the shower. Because, you know, you're both naked. Things happen. That's an option. Um, I wish I had more scientific knowledge on this, uh, but I don't. So I would go to Lori <laughs> for all your scientific questions. And I think, did I answer all of it? I, damn it, I'm going to answer all of it because everyone thinks I can't talk about sex. I feel like I need to give you guys sex referrals on me or something. Not that I would. And if I've ever had sex with you, do not leave a comment below. But my God, my God, I'm a woman. I have needs too, guys. All right, on that note, I'm going to leave you. To do what? I don't know. Maybe have sex? No, I'm not. My girlfriend's not in town, so that's not an option. But if it was, I'd do it. There. I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.